Hey, what's up traders? Welcome back to my channel. This is Daily Forex Analysis and today we're going to be analyzing five different currency pairs. Four of them is going to be a, uh, day trades and I got the another bonus, so to speak. The fifth one is going to be a semi swing trade, so make sure you stick around to the end. So to start with, we're going to start with the Aussie dollar followed by euro dollar, dollar against Canadian dollar and euro against Australian dollar and that semi swing, semi swing is what I call it the trade which is going to take a bit longer than a day trade and then which is going to take less than a swing trade so it's kind of semi swing really might take two days to play out or maybe slightly longer and then we're also going to check the news which might be if something's going to impact on the currency pairs we discussed so without further ado let's jump into the currency pairs okay first of all we're going to start with the Aussie dollar I'm going to start from the daily time frames and come down to the lower time frame so daily for one hour and etc Right, start with the daily, obviously nothing and much going on. So four hourly, this currency looks fairly choppy. So let's look at the one hour time frame. It looked earlier then it's kind of gained some momentum, but now it's kind of giving all that uh, back. Now it has this daily, has a reaction that daily R1 and now it's retracing. I was looking to get into this trade around down here uh, 67.25 area but now it looks like it's coming down it still has about 10 minutes before that candle is closed so let's see if um, looking for a get into the long side play but if it obviously comes down too much depends also how this candle is going to close if it comes down too much and closes uh, 67.20 then that won't be that good so require more observation also we have this one hour trend line very steep but see how it's going to play out but overall I'm looking to get onto the long side for the targets to first target would be this daily R3 so about 67.45 area uh, followed by four hourly doo -doo -doo, where were I four hourly weekly R1 around that area is probably gonna be too much to ask for now so it needs a bit more observation but certainly this weekly R3 is a, a decent target I personally like to take the targets on based on four hour time frame if when it comes to the day trade but obviously the one hourly is also uh, justifiable. So more observation and look at how this candle is going to close. This one might do. If I just let me bring up this snippet, I will try to draw on it. Right, if you look at it, so let's say this candle closed like this, and the price might come down. If it doesn't show up too much bearish strength, then that will be fine so you might just handrail this this candle and could break higher so this one more requires more observation but I'm more inclined to the long side at least Ooh, this is daily 6750 so what is it earlier 6761 so roughly yeah, roughly about 67.56 or 57 as of the second target or the first target to keep it on 67.45 or just under that. So the next one is Euro Dollar. So what we have, uh, this is a daily chart and as you can see the trend is obviously going down. But if you go to the smaller time frame, this is four hourly, still looks obviously down, and one hourly is 
very very choppy this is this is extremely choppy currency at the moment it just stopped as of the daytime concerns so it just going up and yeah it's not much of a range bound in here it's only like uh, 08 44 to the down of 35 it's like 15 pips I can check the ATR but it's is gonna be the same reading pretty much I draw these horizontal lines these two lines up here so what I think because the overall trend this has been going it's been very bearish I would think this I would wait to this currency to come up here about these highs about what is it 10855 and then short it rather than it might go down up to down to the 0830 RN and you can buy it. It can go up to these highs or even these highs. But because it's so bearish and it's very choppy, I would personally would not risk to go long on that. It might work though. But I would personally uh, go short rather than long. And I think yeah, last week I had I shorted it this currency. I think it was on the trend line. Yeah, I shorted it on the trend line and I had a quite tight stop. But it it just about nicked me on where was it? My stop was at one oh eight sixty and it just came up to this not even one eight one oh eight sixty one. So it just just under a pip and it just nicked me and uh, yeah I lost on that trade. So I'm looking now to go on to try another give it another try for the short sides. So for now this currency is uh, very choppy. You can try and my advice will be get onto the short side around this area 108.55 if the currency comes up because there's a high chance it will just start to roll over and continue to the downside can't even see the uh even on, okay weekly let me just take out these horizontal lines you're gonna have yeah looks very see those big bars of the weekly chart, uh, weekly candles. Yeah, I would be definitely on a short, short side on that. Next currency is US dollar against Canadian dollar. So this is a snippet, and I will switch to the uh, live charts just later. So this is a daily chart of the US dollar against Canadian, and as you can see. The price is having just stopped up here because there's loads of lot of open and closes, so it's just struggling to. It, it has a reaction on here, and then uh, it's retraced. And if we just look at the live charts, so this is daily again. Now it's it's having a problem to break these lows. This this open and closes this this down here this it's kind of high as well as looking I'm still looking to the but not many I was looking at uh, earlier so if you come down to the four hourly and one hourly it turns fairly choppy but still uh, still a bit of on the downside if when it's as a short time frame but if you look at the longer time frame this is still very bullish i would i would rather be alongside than the shorts i'm still looking if there is there could be some day trades to squeeze out of it so let's wait because this is this nice one hourly candle this is quite bullish as of the short time frame uh, concerns if that's let me just bring up a snippet and see so if this is a trend line if the price starts to um, play around and then come up to this trend line so it's going to be also these tiny highs 
see what it does and also see how it comes up obviously if it comes up the candles like this bullish candles all next two three candles gonna be like this and they will be probably looking to break this this trend line but if not if it comes up candles like maybe this one like a was it inverted yeah inverted hammer then i would be looking to short it and maybe run it to let's just close this one again yeah so if it comes up here so if you short it around here 130 to 48 and then run it let me see what's on the four hour mm, yeah on the four hourly because i'm still more inclined to the long side but certainly so 132 what was it? 132.47, let's say 142.47 to run it to these lows again. Yeah, it's not many pips, it's around 15 pips. I personally really don't like taking that, but if you're into, if you don't mind taking 15 pip profits, then you can certainly try. I personally do not like taking a trade for the for the sake of the 15 pips if that even plays out but for now it has one two so okay two touches so it shouldn't have, shouldn't be too bad so if it comes up to this trend line and also these highs 130 to 47 48 area you can short it and run it to these 32 32, 33, 133 area. They squeeze out about 10, 15 pips out of it. Unless, let me let me reanalyze. See what is it? I just paused and reanalyze, and I don't really see any day trade opportunities other than the one I mentioned earlier. So for now, we just keep it. Uh, this if it comes up the trend line then you can short it and run it to this low obviously there is another low down here which could play out but because it's it's still quite bullish not quite it's a lot bullish than it is obviously this is now had this reaction because of these highs up here and then it's retraced by its I would not say that yeah it's short side probably if it breaks down if it breaks this this lows then certainly I'll be looking to the short side but for now as of even a long long term would be a long side rather than a short side and even on on the day trade perspective I would still be concerned to go short for now but this certainly is probably the best option I can see at least to do if you want to do a day trade. But obviously if it starts breaking breaking higher, breaking these, certainly if it breaks these highs at 30 to 67, then definitely to the long side. So the next currency to analyze is Euro against Australian dollar. This is a daily chart. So as you can see, this is sitting on this decent support and he had the few attempts to break it but for now it has not been successful so four hourly doesn't look much interesting and then let's go to the one hourly we have this one hourly trend line which price is attempting to break it now but it's not confirmed until the candle is closed which is going to happen in about 35 minutes so it's still a enough time to price do you know whatever price is gonna do so for now i would say it's more bearish even alongside for sure and even on the short side obviously it reflecting the price so still looking still looking short even though it's uh, it's most likely a divergence depending what what indicators you using it would another foot of divergence i can go and check it but i don't use the divergence um i used it previously but it does not really work for me or it has a very low percentage rate and then the risk reward generally doesn't work so i don't i don't particularly use it 
I always base my analysis to the pure price action um, or 80 to 90 percent of the price action then I use uh, two two or three uh, depends generally maximum three indicators which I use to as a guide but I don't trade off of the uh, indicators I use as a price action as the very first one and then I will have a look at the indicators if I need if the price is not telling me what I need to know all, all the information is not there then I will have a look at the indicators as well and to have a bigger picture so for now as the price is very bearish I'll, I'll be looking to short it rather than go long at least for now so the optimal optimal price this so this highs not really so this one looks good 61 28 to 31 around this area like where the daily r1 is 161 31 around this area if we can if the price gets up there then you can uh, if we short it it should look decent the only thing I'm concerned is the targets so it won't be really a day trade I would be rather holding that but I can't I can't base that on a daily and uh, I mean intraday entry and then have a target on a swing as of the swing take profit so let me just calculate if there will be if you let's say if you go into a 61.30 and then run it to okay it's not that bad so the, the oh yeah this is the uh, about 25 pips profit if you run it to these lows back to the same lows so to speak like 61.05 give or take so if you get in here and then run it down here fairly decent generally when the price price comes up to the highs it likes to retrace back down test the lows or most likely to do a marginal new low before it maybe goes up or either it will just uh, collapse and start going to the direction of the trend and if you stayed at the end we got this bonus semi swing currency which is US dollar against Swiss franc Switzerland franc so this is a semi swing where I call it semi swing trades so this is a daily chart and I will looking at this pair as you can see now it's breaking and it's it has a decent run up now I'm waiting to this to retrace and it has to do it today because obviously if the candle if the today's candle is gonna close like the yesterday's yesterday's well it was Sunday yesterday so if it closes like same as the Sunday candle or like inverted hammer or doji then I would be bit suspicious to go to long side but certainly for now I'm waiting to this to come down around 9800 roughly about 98 9800 to 9796 so around the area to get onto the long side stop would be about down to this low probably about 15 pips stop depends if it's gonna play out on my entry or not get on to about this this low down here 97 96 to 9800 and then the profit would be this low looks good around this one 98.55 I would be looking to the first target As you can see this is nice lows open and closes so the first target so let's say if you get on to even 9800 and I have a 15 hip stop then that will be and run it to that 55 
you would have more than one to three risk rewards, which is pretty decent. Right, and for the end, this is the website, forexfactory.com, as you can see up here. And for Monday, uh, 17th of February, you do not really have much news. It just very mild, doesn't really affect the markets. And also, there's a bank holiday in USA. So I don't think you might not have a much of a volatility for today, for the Monday. Uh, certainly for the Australian dollar tomorrow. This is for the UK time, by the way. Um, all the currency I analyze is on the UK time. But tomorrow, if you let's say if you take a trade for the Australian, uh, be aware that there's a monetary policy meeting on the half past midnight UK time, which is tomorrow. So this might affect the the currency pair. If you have the day trade, then you might just chop it around and it did not hit your target then you might want to close the trade rather than just to roll it over to the next day i certainly don't like closing trades early until it either hits my stop loss or the profit target but sometimes then if there is a news which might affect the the currency and you have a tight stop it's better to close the trade either if you are in a loss or profit it does not really matter but because if the news comes out and you suffer the slippage then that's not good you have to be a responsible trader certainly but this is probably this is gonna be the only excuse you can allow that you can close the trade early other than that if you um, if you just want to snatch your, uh, if, if the, the currency is in the profit area and you are afraid that you might turn around and stop you out, and if you close the trade because of that, it's definitely not an excuse. So I will link the video on how to stop banking your profits too soon. If you, if you have a problem that you're banking your profits too soon, then check that video out. I hope you find this video helpful. Make sure to like, share, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'm uploading regular videos about trading. And before I go, I have a question for you guys. What's your favorite currency to trade? Leave the answer in the comments below, and I will see you guys in the next video.